Hello students, this is a private class with the Millennium Teacher, also known as the Time Class. It is the class that teaches the lessons of life based on facts to transform, inspire, motivate and educate you about life. You're welcome to class. In our previous class, we talked about why is life so difficult. From the book, Life is a Movie, a Call to Action. In today's class, we are going to learn about the people involved in movies and their roles. We also talk about how that relates to life as well. By the way, you can get a copy of this book for just 200 leons and it is also available on Amazon. Please help promote my work by buying a copy of my book. Thank you. Now for today's lesson, the people involved in movies and their roles. It is not easy to produce a single movie. It is quite demanding and requires so many people to play various roles for that to happen. Among the people involved in movies, there are five categories of them who are responsible for the production and the success of any movie. They include number one, the producer, number two, the director, number three, the editor, number four, the characters or cast, number five, the audience. These five categories of people are responsible for the production and the success of any movie. Without these people, there will be no movie. Having listed them all, we are now going to study them one after the other. In today's class, we are going to learn about the producer. Yes, the producer of a movie. As the name implies, Producer is the one that provides what is needed for the movie. In other words, a producer is the money man responsible for financing the movie. For any movie to become a reality, somebody has to be responsible for whatever is involved. The equipment needed, the costumes, Everything that the characters use, everybody, the producer is responsible for them all. Without the producer, there will be no movie. The producer, in other words, is the source of the movie. He is responsible for making the movie a reality. He may have a beautiful story. He may have everything put together. He may have the cast and other things, you know, in place. But if you don't have somebody to finance that story, it will just remain an empty story. It will not become a reality. A producer is responsible for bringing the story to life. Now we have learned about a producer in movies. The question remains, how does that relate to life? If life is a movie, then it must have a producer. Life did not just happen on its own. It did not just occur on its own. We are not living on this earth on our own. Somebody is responsible for this life. Now think for a while, if life did not exist, how would it have looked like? This is something I used to do some time ago. I used to go out at night, late hours, and looking at the skies and imagining how did this life happen? I mean, what if there was no life? What if nobody existed? How would it have looked like? I tried to figure that out, but each time I try it, I ended up with a headache because I cannot comprehend it. It is too big to imagine what it would have looked like if there was no life. Now, how did life come into existence again? It is such a mystery that you cannot comprehend. But no matter how mysterious it is, you need to understand that somebody is responsible for making it happen. That person is the producer. And for our scripts in this class, I want you to know that the Almighty God is the producer of the movie called Life. He is responsible for making it happen. Without God, there will have been no life. God is responsible for making life happen. The air that you breathe, He provided it. The sun ray from which you survive, He provided it. Everything you enjoy in this world, in this life, God provided it as the producer of the movie. He's responsible for everything. That is why in the textbook, he will tell you the earth and everything therein belongs to him because he is the producer. 
There are people who do not believe in the existence of God simply because they don't see him and they don't touch him. So they say he doesn't exist. If you are that kind of person, I have a message for you. There's no need for you to see God in order to believe that he exists. Because him being the producer of the movie called Life, you don't need to see him in the movie. When have you ever seen in any movie where a producer will showcase himself and the producer of this movie, you know, like that? What normally happens in movies is that they will give credit. This and that person produced the movie, but you never see them in the movie portraying that they are the producers. You believe them and you give them the credit even though you don't see them in the movie. In the same way, you need to believe that God exists. He is the one responsible for making life happen. There's no need for him to show up on the scene to portray himself as the producer, as the God that made life happen. He is playing his role behind the scenes. That is why you are on the scenes. If he's not playing his role as the producer behind the scenes, you will not be on the scenes. So you need to believe that God does exist. Even though you don't see him, he is the reason why we live and move and have our pain. He knows the end right from the beginning. Out of nothing, he brought life. Out of the dust of the ground, he produced you. Give credit to God as the producer of the movie called Life. Even though you don't see him, he does exist behind the scenes. On a lesser level, we are also producers of the various lifestyles that we live. Parents are the producers of the lifestyles that their children live. Teachers are also producers of the various people that we become in life. They are producers of doctors, of lawyers, of nurses, engineers, etc. Teachers produce these works of life, which are movies. So to sum it all up, God is the overall producer of the movie called Life. And we are the co-producers of the various lifestyles that we live. I want to believe this was made clear enough for you. Now this takes us to the end of the class for today and I hope you have learned something. If you have any questions or concerns, please drop them in the comment section and we'll address them accordingly. Okay? Thank you so much for attending the class today. Till we meet again, I'll be your teacher, Solomon Joseph Kekura. Class dismissed.